we left the Essene on the gun cutter bound for Gudrun's surface. Posing as a trade delegation from Samata, we would meet with the Guild Synesius representative in Dorsey, the planet's northern capital. The ship which transported Iclone to Hubris was docked in the festive capital, and according to Maxilla, its master, Efreed Tanokbre, was planetside. Betancourt went off to investigate, leaving us to our rendezvous with the Guild Synesius representative of the Dorsey Regency. Sire Farchival, Madam, had I known you were visiting, I would have cancelled meets to be here. Forgive my tardiness. I forgive it. I'll be straight with you, sir. I represent grain merchants on Hesperus, a significant cartel of grain merchants. What sort of size cartel are we talking about, sire? The entire western continent. And you offer? A gene-fixed strain of cereal that could be easily managed by many of your landowners now that their workforce is depleted. It is indeed a wonder. The other guilds are bidding for this product, mister. I do hope Guild Cynetius won't miss out. Is this Xenos cultured? Would that be a problem? No, sire, not officially. The Inquisition is, of course, very tight about such things, but that is precisely why we offer these discreet interviews. I'm pleased to hear it. So a Xenos cultured cereal strain would not be hard to market? Naturally not. There are collective enterprises eager for assured crop yields, especially those hothoused by alien technology. Good. But I want the best return. Simon told me that House Glor should be the first to approach. Simon? Simon Croats. The Guild Synesius envoy I dealt with on Hesperus. Quite so. You wish me to arrange a trade meeting with House Glor? I think that's what I said, didn't I? What got into you? You said we were moneyed merchants who expected the very best. I was just earning my salary. Keep it up.
found Tanok Bray, but he wasn't interested in taking on a cargo of Farkaville or anyone else. Sorry, Eisenhorn, but he's dead now. You made the mistake of trying to lose me in a rowdy crowd of drunken conscripts. No matter, Midas. Tomorrow we visit the House of Glor. I'm sure that will yield results. We retired for the evening, but it was to be a far from restful night. In the small hours of the morning, I was awoken by a voxed whisper from Betancourt. Aegis. Rose Thorn. Rose Thorn reveal. Spectre's invasive. Spiral vine. I had Keep to escape, looking. but I couldn't use the door. Find him. Search over there. Keep looking. could have tracked us to the hotel had our cover been blown.
Intel engineering secure. Continuing our sweep. No sign of them yet. Quite out here, sir. Nothing to report. Maintain lookout. I'll be down shortly. Eisenhorn, be careful. The garden is swarming with assault troops. Intruder. I should be able to get into What are you doing? You you stop! <laughs> in 
position now. If you can draw them to one of those statues, I can pick them off from there. You've made a huge mistake. Something's not right here. Who's in position? Get out of here! Stop Bound. playing game! An intruder! Full alert! Target is spotted! Full alert! The weapons down what now. What devil is this? You resist? You have made a mistake. A fatal one. I have no doubt. I am Inquisitor Commodus Volk. Well met, brother. We have a conflict of jurisdiction. Then let us resolve it. Explain to me why you invade my apartments in the dead of night. My work brought me to Gudrun eight months ago. An ongoing investigation. A complex matter. A rogue trader had come to my attention. One Efried Tannockbray. I had begun to close my net around him when he was scared into flight and got himself killed. Simple cross-checking revealed that a grain merchant called Farchable had somehow been instrumental in that incident. Farshaval is my cover here on Gudrun. I am discomforted when I see Inquisitors holding to the soft, cunning ways of the Radical. That way, heresy lies, Eisenhorn. We need to share more information, Inquisitor. I'll take a guess and say your investigation somehow involves the Glor family. Indeed. Since Pontius Glor's eradication, the House of Glor made great efforts to distance itself from his heresy. But my master Angevin, rest his immortal soul, always suspected that the taint ran deeper and that the family was not free of corrupt. But from time to time, over the past 200 years, I have turned my eye to them. Fifteen months ago, I uncovered traces of a cult of great scope and power, old and hidden, stretching across many worlds. Some traces led to Gudrun. I hunt out a cabal controlled by a notorious facilitator. A cabal set on performing an abominable crime. The trail leads to Gudrun and the Glores. You do the same with another heretical cell. Three others, in fact. Three, then. And you see the shape of a far greater organization. From the facts, as they stand, 
we are both approaching the same evil from opposite sides. Since coming to Gudrun, I have rooted out and burned two heretical cells. I am reasonably sure of the activities of another nine. For months they seemed bent on preparation for some event. Abruptly, a matter of weeks ago, their behavior changed. This would have been around the same time as your confrontation on Ubris. Iclone's undertaking was also great, with extensive preparatory work. Yet at the eleventh hour, something either went wrong or plans were suddenly changed. Though I defeated and destroyed him, his plans were really thwarted by the fact that the Pontius didn't arrive. What has your work revealed of House Claw? I have visited them twice in three months. On both occasions, they have made every effort to answer my questions, allowing me to search the estate and their records. I have found nothing. I fear perhaps that is because they know they were dealing with an Inquisitor. Tomorrow, Sire Farshable has a trade meeting with the Glaws and their estate. The Inquisition has a duty to stand together, firmly, against the archenemies of mankind. In the spirit of cooperation, I will wait and see what your dubious methods reveal. Precious little, I imagine. In the spirit of cooperation, Voke, I will share all I learn with you. You will do better than that. The Glaws know me, but not all of my students. Eldane will go with you. I don't think so. I insist. I will not have years of work ruined by another agency such as yourself running roughshod through the matter. Then he had better do exactly as I instruct him. <laughs>